All right, I'm coming back. Cool. Oh, no, what we should do is we should do a establishing shot. Establishing shot is a shot that establishes the location you're in. So, uh, what's a good example of establishing? There's lots of good ones. I just wonder if there's a good one of something I'm, I recognize. I'll go with this one because I think it's all right. Uh, so this would be an establishing shot. Uh, so this would be an establishing shot if in the film, like this was the first thing you saw. It, like not necessarily the beginning of the movie, but the beginning of any scene where you see this and then we zoom in to a guy walking along the bridge. So we'd be establishing our location, zoom in on our character, that sort of thing. Lots of ones that are showing up here are 
photographs. Um, I wish there was an actual one from like a film. Ooh, this would be cool. Yeah, that's a great establishing shot. Uh, that as well. Where you're kind of establishing where your location is. This one's really cool. This is from uh, the uh, Isengard. Make sense? Yeah, it's it's to it's to orientate the uh, to orient the viewer into what you're doing, and like where you are, what's going on, sort of thing. You know, uh, a lot of TV shows um, will do a thing where there or a lot of like yeah, like the Disney TV shows will do a thing where they'll show, um, like it'll be based around a hotel or be right based around a certain thing. So they'll do a front a shot of the front of the hotel and then they'll go to a thing inside. You know what I mean? Like they'll do something like that. Yeah, there's lots of stuff in film that's very, very, very calculated that you don't necessarily think about that much until you get to the visual aspect of creating it. Uh, another great example is um, there's this cool rule in film for any sort of chase scene or movement in which your characters will always be moving in the same direction. Uh, and they'll never flip on themselves because it disorients you because you think you, they're going backwards. So, for example, if they're always moving left to right, uh, so if they're moving left to right in a, in a chase, they'll always be moving left to right. Like, it's kind of this weird thing. They're always doing it from that side uh, because if we see them going right to left, we feel like they're going in the opposite direction and it doesn't work. So lots of neat things like that. You can't, yeah, you can't 360 flip in film. Uh, I think uh, for any artist, uh, especially you, Johnny, you should you should look at some resources of uh, cinematography uh, because there's a lot of a lot of really smart things that you can learn about framing and composition and all kinds of stuff like that that I actually think would be pretty relevant to uh, just comp uh, the composition of, of images in general. Uh, storybook books are cool, but no, um, you should look at some actual, like, what was I thinking?
if I find a good resource, I'll let you know. There's um, some really cool stuff uh, to do with that. So yeah, um, and I was going to mention that one of the, for those who don't know, Stevie Ray Drawn, who's a good friend of mine, uh, streams on Twitch. She's an art streamer. She does a weekly movie stills sort of training thing to, to learn from. Because she picks those stills, there are actually a lot of really good stuff in the ones that she picks. Because she's doing she's doing those cool cinematography shots of, of composition and all that kind of thing. Yeah, I don't know. I was just thinking that myself. Oh God. My Firefox is crashing. <laughs> up a bit. I think I figured out what I want. Yeah, and Dry, that's exactly why I think you should do it. Because your interests are different, it really forces you to think outside your box. I'm not saying doing it do it every week. I'm just saying that you should do it more often or at least once a month or something like that. Like work on it, you know? I know it's hard right now because you you can't do digital, but still.
Yeah, I'm gonna. I think these two are the same panel. So I'm gonna just cut out that one. I believe I did, Ronnie. Did I not? I thought I did. No, not Pinterest. Curse you, Pinterest. saving a couple of really good pictures of Greek houses I found. Uh, I'm going to include them in uh, the document. I can't put them into the text or anything, but I can include them so that uh, I can attach them to any sort of package I send to an artist. Yeah, I did see that drawing. It's very nice.
You know what? I'm kind of thinking now that I don't want this. And I don't want. Uh, where are you? Here. I don't want this sound effect either. space for dialogue, but I'm not actually going to put any dialogue. attack and then the siren yeah okay no that all makes sense that all makes sense Yeah, you do. Um, so the interesting thing about scripting for comics that's a little bit different than scripting for film or any other sort of scripting or even prose writing is that really a script is a dialogue between you and your artist. So a lot of it comes down to saying, hey, this is what we see. This is the shot we're going for. This is what I'm trying to do. These are things I want you to note. Like it's a, it's it's kind of like a conversational sort of style. Um, there's a great example of a Neil Gaiman script that I read not too long ago, that where he basically has this whole author's note at the beginning of like the first page is just like him talking to his artist saying, "Hey, so this is where we're at in the story. This is what I'm looking for. I'd like to see this sort of style for a couple of these characters, like this kind of thing." It goes like that. So you can be a little bit informal in that way of saying, hey, I'm look, I'm going for this, or I want this, or this is what I'm trying to do, or, you know, we see this, or the reader says this, or sees that, or whatever, you know? There's, there's stuff you can do like that. So we actually finished the first 11 pages today. So we finished the first half which is really, really awesome. I am going to finish up shortly, not right this second. I do have a couple things I wanna talk about right before I go. So first off, uh, starting in February for about two months, I'm going to be streaming two days a week. I'm gonna be streaming Sundays and Mondays at 12 o'clock, uh, 12 p.m. Eastern. So look forward to that. Uh, yeah. I have some extra time, so I'm going to be doing a little bit more streaming. Not a ton more, but just a little bit more to, to get my juices going. And uh, I'm going to do it as 
Each week will be one episode, so Sunday will be part one, Monday will be part two. I'm going to try and work it that way. We'll see how it goes. I'm I'm open to interpretation and suggestions, uh, as always. Uh, so there's that. That's important. Two, I'm going to be submitting some stuff to some magazines this week. I'm really excited. Uh, I hope it all goes well. Wish me luck. Yeah. Um, yeah, really excited for that stuff. Uh, I know that's not super stream relevant, uh, but as this is sort of a professional stream of learning to be a writer and trying to be a writer and doing all those writer things, this is valuable experience for me. And I'm very proud of myself for being able to actually like finish things. Over the last year, uh, especially since I've started streaming, I've actually accomplished uh, quite a bit by finishing more than one project in a year, uh, which doesn't sound like a lot, but is, is training yourself to get better. So now this year, I'm going to finish two, three projects within the first couple months of the year. And then, you know, we're going to move on towards that, right? Uh, for example, Fear the Siren. We've done two episodes this year so far, if I'm not mistaken, maybe three. Have we done three? Yeah, we've done three episodes so far. So... For the last two episodes I've been working on this, I've made a lot of progress. I basically laid out four issues in the first episode. In this episode, I've done half the first issue. I should be getting most of the, the first issue done next week. Well, I might do something fun next week, but we'll see. Oh no, sorry. Next week is a single, yeah. Sorry, I was thinking of February. Yeah, no, next week I'll be doing something similar to this. I'm gonna see if I can get this, uh, this issue done. Yeah, three hours each for Sunday, Monday. I'm just going to group them together, like on my website and all that. I'm going to group them together as a single episode. They're just going to be twice as long, I guess, you know? So there's that. Um, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, uh, I do have exciting news that I can't reveal yet, but I should be able to reveal by February-ish. But uh, without giving you too much details, there's going to be more content. Uh, it's going to be very different. It's going to be uh, unique and interesting, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, as well as I'm going to be doing a couple of things with some YouTube friends of mine. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to make some YouTube appearances doing some random stuff. So we'll see how that goes, too. I will let you know the details as soon as I have more for you. But, yeah, exciting stuff coming up. Very exciting. I'm very happy with how this year's going so far. Um, yeah. Uh, any questions for me? So, that's all good stuff. I will let you know as soon as I have more details about anything. Uh, as always, you can contact me on Twitter, which I've been checking a lot more lately and been actually keeping on top of, uh, as well as other contact details are on accidentalandorigin.com right there, as well as VODs with extra episode resources, links, cool stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, episode files so you can find all like weird drafts of stuff and and all that kind of thing 
so yeah that's all real good stuff um I don't think there's anything else I feel like I'm missing something but I don't think I actually am I promise I'll be better rested next week. I'm not I'm not going out at all until I finish all these drafts I gotta do <laughs> by the end of the month. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out. I really appreciate it. As always, my name is Brendan. This is the Accidental Origin your weekly writing web show. I may have been so tired that I forgot to do that in the intro, which is really sad. Oh well. It is what it is. Not much I can do about it now. Cool. Have a good one, gang. I will catch you later. Enjoy your weekends. All that jazz. Bye. <laughs>